Good morning, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the conference Global Museum, Where Do We Go From Here? which started yesterday with an internal workshop of the teams of Hamburger Bahnhof, the Kunstsammlung Nordrhein-Westfalen in Düsseldorf and the Lehnbachhaus in München. The colleagues from the MMK in Frankfurt, which were also invited because they also participated in this research and exhibition project, couldn't participate. What a pity. Um, we came together to discuss our experiences and questions regarding this research and exhibition project Global Museum, which is an initiative by the Kulturstiftung des Bundes, welcome Hortensia Völkers, that started in 2014, 2015, and was meant to encourage and support German museums to examining and questioning their holdings from a global perspective. Yesterday evening, we opened up the discussion to the public with the keynote lecture by Terry Smith. Hello, Terry. See you again this morning. Um, Terry Smith reflected on the question how we must reimagine art museums within the post-colonial constellation and even beyond. Post-colonial constellation, a term used by Okwui and Vesor to whose souvenir this conference is dedicated. Today, we would like to continue the discussion in three panels, learning from artist networks, gauging effects, global museums as part of a contemporary focus on transnational networks, and finally, moving forwards, what do museums want, what would they need? I'm very grateful to the speakers and moderators of this conference who have accepted our invitation and will discuss together with us what seems to be urgent questions regarding the future of modern and contemporary art museums, not only in Germany. We are also looking forward to their comments on the controversial debate around these exhibitions within the Global Museum Initiative which is another aspect to reflect on during this conference. Since the moderator for the first panel, Tira Solgar, had to cancel his participation yesterday evening because of an emergency in his family, we wish them all the best. I will now right away present you a few thoughts on the topic of the first panel, learning from artist networks. And then Jenny Dirksen, who has conceived and organized this conference, thank you again, will take over and present the next panelists. I would now get the first image. During the research for the exhibition Hello World at the Hamburger Bahnhof, we realized that artists' networks, as well as artists' travels and their migratory movements, also exile stories around the world have had an important, tremendous impact on transnational and transcultural activities throughout the 20th century. In some parts of our exhibition, we have focused on examples of such activities. We have looked into the connections between the Marvo group in Tokyo and the network uh, of internationally oriented avant-garde artists and their magazines in Europe in the early 1920s. We have studied networks of local and international artists in Mexico between the 1920s and 1960s. We followed the German artists Walter Spies, who relocated from Dresden to Indonesia in the 1920s, where he founded the artist group Peter Maha to, in Bali together with Augustinio Manlempard. 
One part of the exhibition was dedicated to artists' initiatives which sprang up between the 1950s and 1980s in what was then Yugoslavia, the Soviet Union, Hungary, Poland, and the GDR. And we presented some transnational activities of the Fluxus movement, as well of the Centro de Arte e Comunicación in Buenos Aires in the 1960s and 1970s. During our research, we were looking for concrete contacts and alliances between artists in different parts of the world who communicated over geographical and cultural distances. A lot of these activities can be assigned to the logics of an international-oriented Western modernism or a cosmopolitanism that doesn't address the colonial and racist structures directly while looking for transnational exchange and transcultural inspiration. We could have researched more moments of exchange and mutual transformation that Christian Cravagna has subsumed under the term transmoderne, moments of transcultural contact understood not only as geographically diverse forms of modernism, but as the way art has engaged with different political positions, with anti-colonialism, pan-Africanism, or the American civil rights movement, to name just a few. That could maybe be a point of discussion for the afternoon. What we did research were the different local contexts in which these groups and activities were situating themselves at a given moment. This could be done, not least, thanks to curators and researchers from different parts of the world who collaborated and shared their experiences with us. When addressing the question, where do we go from here after having deinstalled the exhibition Hello World, we were asking ourselves if museums could learn from artists' networks in establishing and maintaining transnational networks among museums and other art institutions. In a process of learning by doing, we started a collaborative research and exhibition project conceived and um, driven forward by Anna Katharina Gebers, together with Kritje Gavi Wong from Jim Thompson Art Center in Bangkok and Mayam in Chiang Mai. Grace Sambo from Job Jakarta and freelance curator for Galerie Nationale Jakarta, as well as June Yap from Singapore Art Museum. The collaboration started during the performance, uh, sorry, the collaboration started during the preparation of Hello World, and the exchange continued and led to a conference with the title Embodied Histories entangled communities, South, East, Asian, and European approaches to narratives and performance art that took place here at the museum in June. It was a conference with lectures and performances, and you see here the performance by Arachmayani, the flag project in front of the museum. And the, con the uh, conference took place in cooperation with the Cluster of Excellence, Temporal Communities, doing literature in a global perspective of the Freie Universität Berlin and the Goethe Institute South Asia. In 2020 and 2021, a series of exhibitions will be held in Thailand, Indonesia, and in Berlin. And in each exhibition, specific local narratives as entangled histories of the countries in Southeast Asia, as well as their entangled histories with Germany will be addressed. The project wants to encourage the partners to look with different perspectives through the collections in Berlin, in Singapore, in Indonesia, and search for points of contact that make sense for the respective interests. This project asks for a multi-voice curatorial collaboration, 
for sharing knowledge as well as collections, in which way we will see. Probably we will share more video works than paintings, but let's see what the curators will come up with. Also, I guess, um, facsimiles, books, things that can be exchanged more easily than uh, paintings and installations, but let's see what you bring. Um, this um, project is a new challenge for an institution that has some experience with transnational and transcultural projects, but would need a much more diverse curatorial expertise within its team, an appropriate organizational structure, and an outreach program to implement a global perspective seriously into our museum praxis. I think it's a long way to go, but we are on our way and we look forward to discuss some of the issues which I addressed, but also the issues which uh, the other panelists bring up later together with you. Thank you.